Hey everyone, so this is going to be a completely not sponsored review of the 8 Sleep Pod 3 cover. Now I've been seeing this everywhere online so I wanted to give it a try and I also happen to sleep hot, have some issues with sleep and I thought it would be a great product for my life. But the way that you know this is going to be not sponsored is that I can say two things right off the bat. One, the subscription for use is like, it's extremely stupid. If the internet goes out, you cannot cool this thing. That's insane. Number two is that the shipping and logistics is pretty bad. They didn't get back to me uh, when I reached out uh, within 24 hours around what was going on with my order. It had surpassed the uh, uh, shipment date window uh, and the window is pretty large. It was like a 10 day window and it, it, you know, I missed it. I ordered it early August and today is August 21st, which is when I finally got it. So it was delayed beyond when they said they would initially ship it out. I emailed them, they didn't get back to me until after they had already shipped it, which was a handful of days after I asked. And it got delayed in transit as well. Also didn't get any information about that. It was just under 20 days. So a quick take is that the top layer definitely adds a little bit of firmness to the bed. Um, obviously there are you know, coils, tubes, there's gonna be fluids running through it. Um, but before I had felt like I had fine tuned my bed with that topper where I really liked the amount of cushion um, and pressure relieving memory foam at the very top and this does affect it a little bit. Now it's not to say that this is too firm by any means but it just does firm up the bed a little bit so something to keep in mind. Now I also do have this guy hanging out so I think I'm gonna place the, the hub right in the middle but we'll see how that goes. So when making this connection, there is a proper way. Um, there's a ridge you can see at the bottom of this that aligns with the ridge back there. And then there's two buttons here. One's a big button and one's a small button. I'm gonna assume the big one's power. So I'm gonna put this on the right side. I will press the button. Oh, and as you can see, there is a light on right here. This is where the distilled water and hydrogen peroxide come in. Uh, I will be removing this, unscrewing the lid, filling this up with about, it said, a quarter of the way. Um, it said, uh, I guess this would be uh, half of this, so 16 ounces of hydrogen peroxide. It's about a quarter, it's about a half of this. And then the rest, distilled water. And I assume I'm gonna have to repeat this process a handful of times. All right, I'm up to the fill line. So now I believe I need to go into the app and hit continue on that process. These are the sounds it's making as it is putting the fluid through these tubes up and then into the mattress topper. So priming step two takes about 90 minutes. It was just taking out the water reservoir and then filling it up to the fill line with the distilled water. Uh, this time no hydrogen peroxide. I assume we're gonna be using some more hydrogen peroxide later on. Um, this step is gonna be a little bit of time. So I guess this is the time when you would go make your bed, get rid of all of your packaging and clean up your mess. It's kind of interesting. While it's priming, if you get here, I can actually hear the sound of water starting to come through the tubes. It's hard to convey this through the video, but can you see these like squares that pop up? These little squares are pieces of foam and it's like this foam grid, but in between the lines of these squares. So like in between these squares, it's the rubber mat, which I assume is where the tubing is housed. Um, but overall, when lying down on it, it feels fairly homogenous. It's not too bumpy or anything like that. Just a bit of a like firm-ish feeling mattress topper. So I just got back after the 90 minute prime. It actually took about uh, 110 minutes, um, closer to an hour and a half. And when I got back, it actually said that it detected that a third prime was not needed. So I got the two gallons of water and the uh, multiple bottles of hydrogen peroxide as it asked me to, and I guess I didn't need it, but they will be needed for future refilling because for the cooling effect, it uses evaporative cooling and that means that water uh, will end up, you know, leaving the system. So we'll have to refill it at some point, 
but I guess I just have extra bottles now on hand. I've been playing around with the app. There's a lot of interesting information in there. First of all, I would prefer to see the temperature in degrees, so I went ahead and enabled that, uh, just because abstracting it to plus and minus 10 values doesn't seem like it adds any amount of simplicity. I can just think in degrees Fahrenheit and that's fine for me. When I first set up the app, I said I liked it cold, but it didn't look like it would lower the temperature very much. So I went in and manually adjusted that. Um, it says it's very cold now and we'll see when I get in bed tonight if it feels like it's like freezing or anything like that. Now that the device is primed, once you start cooling, it makes a noise for like five seconds and then it's otherwise almost impossible to hear. I sleep with an air purifier in the room, so that white noise is definitely gonna be above any audible noise coming from the sleep pod. I got the version of this that can fit pretty much any mattress height, as you can see. So I think I have about 16 inches of mattress plus mattress topper height, and it doesn't struggle at all getting around it. It works quite well. And at this point, I tried to set it manually to 70 degrees just to see if it'll work. I also wanna try out the alarm vibration setting. Uh, so on top of just cooling you and being able to maintain and help understand your temperature, help you fall asleep, stay asleep, recover, or whatever. Um, there's a lot of smart tech in here, and I'm curious to see how much all of that works. I typically use an Apple Watch for tracking my sleep, uh, and I'm curious how much just the bed itself or the mattress topper itself is going to be able to detect my information. So two quick things that I'd like to see just after playing around for a bit. Uh, one, when you manually set the temperature, so if I turned it on in the app right now, um, just so I could you know, see if it's working, there's no detection or telling you what the temperature is at that moment. So I set it to say 65 degrees, I have no feedback on where it is, how far it has to go. It just says set to 65 degrees. I would love for it to say, you know, actual temperature, 85 degrees, set temperature, 65 degrees, and then maybe even something like it has two hours until it hits the expected temperature. So that's one thing. Number two is that when you use a new system for an alarm clock, there's a lot of trust that goes into that. Um, and this has a vibration feature. So it, in theory, can vibrate one side of the bed so just that one person wakes up uh, without disturbing the other. Now I can set the time and intensity of the vibration. So 7.30 a.m. from one to 10 intensity. Uh, but I can't find a way to test the intensity or test the vibration. And so that means as a new user, I have to sleep on it with some other form of alarm for sure, um, just to see if I might wake up in the morning uh, from the alarm. So that would mean setting this alarm at 7.30 and then setting like a, my phone alarm for 7.35. And then to fine tune the intensity that I want, that means that I have to every day sort of think about, oh, did this wake me up and, you know, not the other person? Was this enough to wake me up even if I'm, you know, really tired? Things like that. There's, there's just some stuff around the alarm and vibration settings that I feel could be made better for an onboarding a new user. Plus also I, I would just like to test to see if the vibration works right now and the only way that I could think to do that is to set an alarm or to change my wake time to right now and then wait around until it hits like the, the five minutes that it's set to and then it's just a little funky. I've walked through the entire process of setting this up and then I also want to just see if my sleep actually does improve over the next like month of using this so we'll see. After my very first night of using the 8 Sleep pod cover, I started to realize that this was really changing the way that my mattress felt. And it's a combination of two things. First, just because of the way that the grid is laid over the bed, it actually does firm the mattress up quite a bit and it made it more uncomfortable. I had spent a lot of time fine tuning how my mattress had felt with the, you know, the base mattress and the topper on top of it. Adding that layer of plastic essentially over top made it significantly firmer and it did affect my sleep. Now on top of that, because I sleep hot and I'm trying to cool the bed down, the cold water running through the tubes actually firms up that plastic in there. Those two things made me toss and turn the whole night and I really did not get any restful sleep at all. I also found myself feeling uncomfortable with the temperature so I did end up making it less cold than I initially thought I wanted it, but just that process too it made me feel like I had to go check my phone and the only way to interface with this device is through your phone. So a device that's supposed to be helping you sleep shines a bright light in your face in the middle of the night if you start to feel like it could be working a little bit better. It's just a bit strange. 
I emailed Eat Sleep with my concerns to see what they would get back to me with, and they did actually offer to send me a free topper. It's a very small and thin cotton topper. It doesn't really change the feel of the mattress a whole lot, but I said, you know, I might as well give it a try. And then I also went ahead and bought a new thick memory foam topper to put underneath the Eight Sleep as well to see if I could make my bed a little more plush to begin with. I feel like I'm going a bit far with trying to like the product. I just got another two inch topper from Target uh, and I'm gonna try it underneath my one and a half inch topper, over top the mattress protector, put the Eight Sleep on top of that, and then I will have the Eight Sleep uh, mattress cover thing uh, on top of that. So I've got my mattress, the water resistant mattress cover, my original one and a half inch memory foam topper, and then a new two inch memory foam topper. It feels much more plush when lying down on it. So now let's see with the eight sleep cover on top and the additional cover, if it makes a big enough of a difference to comfort. I'm gonna give it another try. We'll see. One thing that's interesting about the comfort part of this is that when I was trying and increasing the temperature throughout the day and I came in and lied on my bed while the eight sleep was at like 107, 108 degrees, it actually felt quite comfortable. Um, and so I could feel that the plastics, the membrane that conceals the water softened up where it was actually significantly more comfortable and a bit more pressure relieving than typical. But every night when I would come back in bed and it was set at a temperature that I would actually like sleeping at, um, it just, it hardened up and it got much more uncomfortable uh, and it, it made it harder for me to sleep. So last night I decided that if I didn't have a good night of sleep or I didn't feel comfortable, I was gonna give it one more night for the eight sleep uh, and didn't work out for me. Like I like the temperature control. I, I like being able to, you know, if I'm, if I'm feeling hot, cool down a little bit, but ultimately it was just, it was uncomfortable. The physical discomfort, like the, the physical and material discomfort of the firmness overrode my enjoyment of being able to cool down a little bit when I started overheating. Uh, and then ultimately, I don't know if it's good for me mentally uh, to, you know, if I'm like feeling a little warm, have the urge then to go to my phone, right? When I'm in bed, I want as little of a reason to go and look at a bright light as possible. Um, but I noticed that over the last few weeks when I'm trying this product, I'll, I'll start feeling a little bit warm. And then my first instinct is like, oh, I need to go check my phone to maybe reduce that. And I, I think that's like a bad Pavlovian response. Uh, for something that's supposed to help me sleep better. So ultimately, the discomfort that I feel, you know, it's I, I've put a lot of work into trying to make this work better for me. Um, but the discomfort that I feel and the fact that it makes me more conscious about uh, things that I could change while I'm trying to fall asleep kind of just gets my brain moving in a way that I, I don't want while I'm trying to fall asleep. I wanted to like this so badly. I went through so much effort just to get multiple mattress toppers and things that would make it more comfortable and test it out in different ways, but I don't know, I guess maybe this just isn't for me. Aside from the temperature control, which I am gonna miss, I just wish it was implemented in a way that was a bit more comfortable for me. Um, I'm also gonna miss the uh, built-in sleep tracking that doesn't have, you know, something on your body. E even though the Apple Watch data and the eight sleep data seem to differ quite significantly, um, I do like the idea of just having something that is not attached to my body. Secondly, the uh, thermal wake up as well as the vibration wake up. So I use my Apple Watch to have the vibration wake up. I find it much more pleasant than uh, audio or you know my phone vibrating on the side. And I really like that you can split it between two parts of the bed. So having one side wake up with a vibration, it, it's pretty uh, loud of a vibration. So it ultimately does wake up both sides, but um, I, I still find it better than having audio alarms going off. There's a lot of cool stuff going on in here, uh, and I I wish I liked it. I really wish it worked for me. I actually do think that sometime in the future, I will go back and try a version of this product, maybe a Pod Cover 5 or something like that, where they've streamlined some of the design and the, the materials and the thickness and the durability and all that sort of stuff that maybe makes it into a package that works better for me, or if I happen to find myself in a situation where you know, I have a very soft bed, something that is too soft for me that I'm like, hey, I can firm this up with an eight sleep pod cover. That might be an option for me in the future.
But for now, with my current setup, after everything that I've already invested in to make sure my sleeping environment is as good as it can be for me, um, adding the pod cover on top of it kind of threw things out of whack. So I'm going to be taking it off. So this is actually going to be a good chance for me to talk about the return process because I think that most mattresses have a minimum of a 100 day return policy. Now, 8sleep has a 30 day return policy. Uh, I got mine extended because I said, hey, I'm feeling some discomfort. Uh, they sent out the little mattress topper for it uh, and they extend my return window by two weeks. So I'm gonna pack all this up and then I'm going to contact 8sleep and see what the return process looks like. The return process was fairly simple. They gave me a prepaid shipping label and I shipped off the dock but the cover itself, because I've slept on it, uh, they can't actually take back. So you unfortunately do have to just throw that away. I really hadn't seen a lot of reviews that were unsponsored or that were negative about the 8sleep pod cover. And so I felt pretty surprised that I didn't end up liking this product. I really hope to enjoy something like this in the future, but for now, this just isn't for me. Let me know what you think about the pod cover in the comments down below. And thanks for watching this video. I'll see you again real soon.